morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. So if yesterday was Tuesday, then today is what? Yesterday was Tuesday, then today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. So if yesterday was Tuesday and today is Wednesday, then tomorrow will be what? Yesterday was Tuesday and today is Wednesday, then tomorrow will be Thursday. Tomorrow is Thursday. So today is Wednesday. The month is May. What number? The numbers one and eight are next to each other in this book. That makes the number 18 or 18th. So today is Wednesday, May 18th, and the year is 2022. What season are we in? It's still spring, except the season is spring. So then what is the weather like outside today? You can look outside your windows. Miss Jessica's gonna look outside her windows. Remember, you might have to stand up, look outside your windows, but Miss Jessica can just kind of look both ways. I look outside my windows here at school. I see that it's sunny outside today. Yep, it's a sunny day. Let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, you need to respect all people, and that includes yourself because you're a person. We respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. You need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. One great way to show respect is by keeping hands, feet, and objects to yourself. Be safe with your body and with the objects around you. Even if you're upset, even if you're angry, you're going to take a deep breath and try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using safe hands and safe feet. Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know this one can be a challenge to understand right now because you're not working with your teachers in person regularly and you haven't for a really long time. There's still people in your life that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, family members, they ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. You need to make good choices. That means being appropriate with your language and your tone of voice. Even if you're upset, even if you're angry, you know, take a deep breath. <sighs> Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using appropriate words and an appropriate tone of voice. So people aren't gonna want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. Then lastly, always do your best. Yes, always do your best. And we do the best we can with what we have each day. And your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation, and that's okay. Your best might look different from someone else's best, and that's okay too. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. Let's go over our communication rights because we're adults and we have rights. And some of those rights, these 15 in particular, deal with our communication, how we communicate with others and how others communicate with us. There are 15 communication rights. So we go over them every other week. So on a five day week like this one, we do three per day. So on Monday, we did three. Uh, yesterday, we did three. And now we're going to do three more. I have the right to say what I think. Your thoughts matter and you have a right to share them. I have the right to be talked with in a way I understand your person and you, excuse me, you have a right for the people in your life to talk with you in a way that you understand, not just what they're, not just how they're saying it, but what they're saying as well. You have a right to understand what's being told you. I have the right to be treated with respect, your person, and you have a right for the people around you to treat you with respect. Um, that's why our first classroom rule is be respectful of yourself and others. We respect all people. Um, we respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. We treat everyone around us with respect because everyone has the right to be treated with respect and that includes you. So other people should do the same for you. All right. And lastly, how are you feeling today? Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you angry? Are you embarrassed? Are you hungry? Are you anxious? Are you cold? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you sad? Are you silly? Are you jealous? Are you tired? Are you disgusted? Are you thirsty? Are you excited? Are you sick? You can point or you can tell somebody. If there's a way you're feeling it's not listed, you can tell somebody that as well. And you can always be more than one thing. Today. I'm a little sad today. It's true, as I have been every day for the last two years uh, because I miss you. Of course, I'm happy because most of your friends are back in school. I'm still a little sad each day because I miss you and I want you back here with us. Even though I'm sad because I miss you, 
I think about all of you home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of. The fact that hopefully someday soon we'll all be back together in class, have so much fun, work so hard, and all this time apart will just be a memory. I think about all that. That makes me really, really happy. It's true. Thinking about all of you and our future together makes me so happy. That is what I focus on because you are my happy place. With that though, meeting is all done. I am going to do a reading video. I believe we're going to read a little bit more of chapter what? Oh, we're going to start, sorry, chapter 18 today. Um, and we are going to do our 10 o'clock Zoom meeting. All right. I hope you have a good day today, friends. A beautiful Wednesday. And I'll see you in my videos tomorrow. Bye, friends.